everyone. Michelle Emma here from Pilates with me. It is a Friday morning and I feel like we need a little bit of an extra oomph. I've only given you one short class this week, so this is going to be your longer class this week. And today we are using our lovely little rollers. So you want them to be about 80 or 90 centimeters in length. If you've got a shorter one, it is possible to use it but a longer one is so much better. So if you don't have one, or if you don't have a roll at all, I promise you they are the best things to invest in. So go out and get one. Other than that, all you need is yourself, your mat, and that is it. So we're gonna get started, guys. So grab everything, and I want you to start with your roller just in front of you, and you are gonna start on your hands and your knees. So we, are, of course, need to warm up the body first. So when you do this stretch, it's called the puppy stretch. I don't want you to lean your bum back. You've got to keep your bum directly above the knees the whole time. So you're going to place both hands on the roller, keep the bum dead still, and walk the roller forward. So it's your upper half of your body doing the movements. Then when you reach it as far forward as you think you can go, drop the chest down a little bit more, and then just lift the chin up. Look over that roller. And have that beautiful sensation of your chest opening, shoulders stretching. Some of you are going to feel like this is absolutely excruciating. So lift up a little bit higher. And then some of you might feel like this is nothing. And you probably have your chest on the floor. Let's take one more deep breath in. and then roll your spine and that roller all the way up. You're gonna grab the sides of the roller, just come up onto your knees and extend those arms up, neutral spine, engage the wall. We're gonna inhale. On your exhale, you're gonna round, leaning bum back, roller down, and then you're gonna inhale, extend. We're gonna exhale, pull that belly back into spine, inhale. So I want you to get the sense of flexion and slight extension in this movement. You want to exhale as you come down so that you can draw the navel to the spine that much more. We're going to do three more. Three. Two. One. Hold the arms up. And you're going to pulse those arms backwards for 10. Stretch the shoulders now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it back. Release it slightly. Engage the core some more and side bend to one side. You want to keep your arms straight though. Reach you side bending the whole body, not just the arms. And then bring it all the way back up to the center. Side bend to the other side, engage that core. And then bring it all the way back up to the center. Release the roller down in front of you. You're going to roll it slightly forward and hands are going to go on it. You want shoulders above those wrists, knees underneath the hips. Keep your neutral spine. And we're going to do a few little left leg knee circles. So you're going to pull the knee in, circle it out and around. You're going to pull it in, circle it out, and around. There's no rules here. The only thing you really want to think about is just keeping those lower abs engaged and keeping that chin up. You don't want to round in this position. You want to be neutral. Change the direction of your circle. Leading with the knee, we're releasing out that left hip. Two. And last one. Now you're going to take that leg all the way up, flex the foot and pulse it backwards. 14, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold. You're going to bring it down. You're going to open it out to the side and pulse it to the side. 14, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold gently bring it back down now take that left foot the one that you've just moved and place it on the roller take your right knee back pointing the toes and then just push yourself up hands go onto the knee but not only extend i want you to tilt i want you to get that imprint move that pubic bone forward 
Squeeze your right thigh and cheek and then push. We're opening and lengthening up that hip flexor. You might even feel it in your abs or your obliques. And you're going to gently release the hands to the rover, tuck the right foot under, and we're going to extend the leg and tap it down. Still warming up, still getting all those joints nice and loose. We're going to go for another four, three, two, last one. Hold it up, take a deep breath in, and then release. Bring that left leg back to the mat. Now we're gonna change it over to the other side. So reposition yourself. You're gonna pull that right knee forward and circle that knee around and down. Pull it forward, around and down. Just keep breathing. Should feel like that body is starting to warm up. Change your direction. Two more. And then you're going to take it all the way up into your donkey kick. Flex the foot and pulse it up for 10. Now, eight, you're shifting the weight forward. Your arms are holding you. Four, three, two, hold. Bring it in. Open it out to the side and pulse it for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and hold and release it down. You're gonna take the right foot onto the rover, move the left knee back, push yourself up, hands on the knee, in front again, squeeze that left bum cheek and just stretch. Relax those shoulders. The weird concept of being engaged, controlled, but also relaxed and light. Gently place the fingertips to the roller, tuck the left foot under, and we're gonna lift and lower. So you're just lifting until that knee is straight and then dropping it down. Don't lift the bum higher. You wanna keep pushing that bum down. So in other words, don't start lifting like that. Two, one, just hold, look forward, lock the shoulders, take a deep breath in. And then gently release and relax. Well done, guys. You're going to move the knee back. You're going to bring feet together, knees apart. Just stretch your arms forward. Last little warm up. Walk the hands to the right side, taking them off the roller. The left hand reaches over that right hand, stretching into the left side of the body. Walk it through the middle and then over to the left. You're reaching the right hand over that left hand. Reach it forward, scoop the tummy in, and you're stretching into that right side of your body. Just breathe. Remember the deeper the breath, the deeper the stretch. And then walk it all the way back to the center. Now you're gonna scoop it up. And this is where the workout starts. So we always, always, always need to have a warm up before the workout. Now that we warmed up, we're gonna get straight into plank. So I want you guys to come onto your forearms on the roller. Gonna lock the shoulders down, shift the weight forward, step it into a plank and hold. Now we're gonna inhale, drop the right knee down without moving any other part of the body. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lift, exhale, lift. We go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now double knee tap. You inhale and you exhale, push it up. Inhale, exhale, push it up. You're leaning forward. The bum stays in line with the shoulders. It's not coming up like the Eiffel Tower. We've got another five, four, three, two, last one. 
hold it in this position and then gently release it. Push up onto the hands and knees again. Tuck the toes under, engage the core, lift and hold that knee lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Make it a little bit more challenging. Breathe in. Exhale, push up, hold. Now extend the right leg back, but don't straighten your left leg, only straighten the right. And we hold. Your left side is going to work. Tummy has got to be engaged. Five, four, three, two, one. Place the knees down slowly. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, pull the belly button to spine and take the left leg back this time. Lift your chin, show cleavage. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knee in and release it all the way down. Well done, guys. Shake out those wrists. You're going to spin the legs forward now. We're going to place the feet on top of the roller. And now I know that some of you might have super, super tight or uncomfortable hip flexors. So to get into this position, it's a little bit more difficult. So try it without the roller or slightly lean back to start your choice. Otherwise, lengthen the spine. You're going to exhale, roll yourself down and stretch that roller out. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, you're going to imprint, roll yourself up and bend your knees in. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, exhale, roll up. The roller is not always going to behave, so you might just need to fiddle with it, move it closer, move it further. Roll up, pull it in. Exhale, roll down slowly, scooping that belly button in. Reach, neutral spine, imprinted spine, roll up, pull the knees in closer. Inhale, exhale, roll down. Can flex our points, makes no difference in this. You're going to imprint, roll up, pull it in. We're going to do one last one. Roll it down nice and gracefully. Exhale, roll up, slowly pull it in. And then slowly roll all the way back down to the mat. Now you're going to take the hands behind the head. Bend your knees in with that roller. And we're going to do a nice little sequence here. So you're going to extend the legs when your head is down. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, you're going to crunch the chest, bend the knees in. Inhale, we lower. Exhale, we crunch. Inhale, lower. Keep the chest open, elbows wide. Three. And just remember to smile. Four. You're pushing down into the roller so that is working your hamstrings a little bit, yeah? Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And last one. You're going to hold it up here and pulse that chest upwards. Forty. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, hold, and release, stretch it out. You're going to imprint again, bend the knees in to start. This time we're going to lift the chest, and the chest is going to stay up there. Now extend your right leg forward, and we're going to exhale, pull it in, but don't push into this foot and lift the bum. Just pull it in, and then reach it out. We exhale, we inhale, three, four. Keep those elbows wide, chin lifted, tummy pulled in. Another four, guys. Three, two, one. Hold the knee in, pulse the chest up. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. And lower down. Have a breather. Find your imprint again. Lift your chest. Reach the left leg up and extend. Inhale, exhale. Eight. Those lower abs, even those upper abs are on fire. The neck must feel relaxed. We got another four. 
three, two, four, one. Hold it in, pulse that chest up. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. And gently place it down. Reach those arms back, stretch the legs forward. Deep breaths. And then place the hands alongside the body, roll the roller a bit closer to the bum again. So we're gonna be moving from your tummy to a little bit of your glutes and handles. So let's start off with open shoulders and neutral spine. You're gonna take a deep breath and flatten the back and roll, curl that tailbone up all the way into a beautiful bridge. Take a deep breath in and then roll it down. Watch your knees because your knees love to open in this position, keep them parallel. You're gonna imprint, curl, roll it up, push feet into the roller and hold. Take a deep breath in and then roll, massage the spine all the way back down. Now you're gonna keep it in neutral, push it straight up into a bridge and we're gonna start marching. So you're gonna exhale, lift the right leg up, inhale, place it down. Exhale, lift the left leg up, inhale, place it down. Now the trick is to keep the roller exactly where you started and to keep the hips where you started. So do not drop as you lift one leg up. So this is six, seven, check the hips, eight, use your glutes evenly. Nine, last one. 10, you're gonna hold it down here and pulse the hips up, keep the tummy tight for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Come straight down, stretch it out for a second, bring it all the way back in. Lifting the right leg to tabletop, keeping a neutral spine. You're gonna exhale, lift up and lift up evenly, then inhale, drop down. Exhale, lift up two, inhale, drop down. Exhale, lift up three, drop down. I love that feeling that you get right in that hamstring and glutes. If you're cramping, it might mean that you're just not warmed up enough or your roller is a little bit too far away from you. But see how my knee is directly over that ankle when I lift up. Now hold and pulse the hips up. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. And then come all the way down. Swap the legs. Right foot goes down, left foot comes up. Neutral spine, push straight up. Drop it down. Push straight up. Drop it down. And you will notice that you might have one side that's easier than the other which means that glute is a bit stronger and you probably favor it a bit too much when you're walking or running or even sitting. Let's go for four more, four, three, two, last one. You're gonna lift it up and hold it up. Now pulse the hips, four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold, and relax it down. Hug both of the knees into the armpits. And release. You're gonna just move the roller out the way. So move it to the bottom of your mat, and we're gonna roll over onto our side. There goes my roller. <laughs> You're gonna move your feet slightly further forward. Now you can choose if you want to have flex feet or pointed toes. I love a pointed toes. It makes me feel very graceful. Now you're going to lie on your bottom arm, stretch it out, and that top hand is just going to hover off that top hip. We're going to take a deep breath in, and on your exhale, you're going to push into the bottom hand, lift both legs, and come into a side crunch, and then release. We exhale, lift, and then we inhale, release. Draw navel in, exhale, lift. Inhale, release. Exhale, lift. Inhale, release. We've got five, four. You want to feel it pinching here. Three, two, and 
two, the more you try to reach for that ankle, the more it works. One, lift it up. Take the top hand behind the head. You're gonna reach top knee to top elbow for 10. And nine, keep the feet lifted. Eight, seven, push into that bottom arc. Six, five, four, just pretend you're on the beach in Mauritius. Three, two, one, hold the legs straight, pulse the legs up, 14, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold, and release it all the way down. You're going to bend your bottom leg in, we're going to wrap that bottom arm around the chest. Take your top hand just in line with that chest or the nipples, and you're going to breathe in, exhale, push it into one arm push up we're going to drop down try not put any weight on that bottom arm so what i mean is don't use the bottom arm to lift up that was four we're going to lift five lift six now you should really feel like it's pinching in the side yet. even though we're working the arm it's also still a little bit of those obliques those muffin tops. Let's go for two more. Last one. Now go halfway down and pulse it. Four, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it halfway. Look forward, squeeze the tummy, feel that burn, breathe it in and out. And then full extension and release it all the way down. Awesome, guys. We've got to push ourselves up and we're going to do that on the other side. So remember, we're going to start off with reaching that bottom arm out, top leg, or both legs, should I say, slightly further forward. Top arm is reaching and hovering just over the top hip. You're taking a deep breath in. Exhale, engage your core and lift. And you're also avoiding rolling on your hip. You want to keep it on the side. So I definitely suggest having a nice squishy mat. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Glide it up. Six. Seven. Eight, reach. Nine, reach. One more. Hold it in this position. Top hand goes behind the top ear. And let's pull in. Four, ten, reach. Keep those legs lifted. Squeeze. And careful that you are not rolling back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, hold both legs straight, pulse the legs up, 4, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold, and release. You're going to just take that bottom arm now, wrap it around you, it's a little bit warm, you're going to take that top hand in front of you, bend your bottom knee in, and we're going to exhale, push up, inhale, lower, try control, Can relax your head down just to release that neck. Give it a bit of freedom. <sighs> Inhale down. Exhale lift. <sighs> Inhale down. Exhale lift. <sighs> Let's do four more. <sighs> Squeeze your tummy. Three. <sighs> Two. And one, go halfway down, little pulses, 14, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it halfway down, keep it there, keep breathing, feel the burn, but feel strong, five, four, three, two, one, full extension, and then release it and relax it, oh, well done, guys, you're going to press yourself all the way up. Give me a quick little shell stretch to release. 
and then roll it up. Now we need the roller again. So if your rollers run away, just go fetch it. <laughs> Grab onto that roller. And we're going to lay all the way down onto the back again. We're going into a beautiful little lower ab sequence. So you're going to take the roller. We're going to imprint legs to tabletop. Push the roller into the knee. And don't cheat you. So you can easily cheat by just releasing it and not pushing hard enough. But you want that resistance. So now we're in this position. You're going to extend one leg at a time. So you're going to exhale, reach. And inhale, bring it in. Exhale, reach, bring it in. Push those arms, I know they're a little bit tired, and keep your knees at 90 degrees. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it, slide the arms to the outside of the roller, reach the arms up. Now we're going to reach the arms back, legs forward, and then bring it back up and do a little bum curl. We reach, bring it back up, bum curl, reach, bring it up, bum curl. So you don't have the strength of your arms to help you out with that bum lift. And so we work those lower abs even more. Bum lift, let's do four more, four, Breathe how you need to, but don't hold your breath in. Three. Two. And last one. One. Bring it to tabletop. Lift the roller above the knees and pulse your chest up. Four, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And we hold. And release, stretch it back. You're gonna rock yourself all the way up and spin around onto your knees. So you want room to the side of you for this. We're gonna be working those little obliques and v lines. So it's quite an oblique and v line workout today. Grab your roller, reach it above the shoulders and then reach your right leg out to the side. Push the hips forward. We're gonna inhale and take it all the way to the side, as low as you can go, and then exhale, return to the center. We're gonna to inhale to lower, because we need that exhale to lift. <sighs> inhale, we drop for three, and exhale, lift. You might not be as low as this. I promise you, when I first started, it felt like my spine was about to snap. This means that you need to strengthen those muscles around your Lower spine a little bit more. So your core muscles. We're going to go for another four. Three. Two. One. You're going to hold it down there. Stretch the arms out. Pulse. Four, ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three two and hold, return to the center. You're gonna take the roller to that left side of you, roll it away and lean on it. Top hand goes onto the top hip. Now let's just point and lift, flex and lower. Point and lift, flex and lower. It's very normal for that bottom leg to cramp. So if you think about it, you're stabilizing all those muscles in your bottom hip. Forcing your hips to open. We've got another four. Flex and lower. Three. Flex and lower. Two. And one. Hold it up and circle that leg. Oh, draw the tummy in. And don't worry if you like literally half a centimeter off the floor. It does get better. Change direction of your circle. Open up that chest. Lift the leg, flex the foot, and pulse. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold, and bring it in. Come into a nice little closed knee shell stretch just to release your lower back.
and then roll that spine all the way up. We've got to swap it over to the other side. So grab more of the roller, reach the arms up and take your left leg out to the side this time. Lock it down, squeeze the hips forward. Let's inhale over to your right and then exhale left. What you'll notice is that one side is so much easier. You can go lower like me on this side. Four. Straight arms. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one you're gonna hold. Little pulses, straight arms. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Return to the middle. Twist it to the side. Right hand on the roller, roll it away. Top hand on that top hip. You're gonna point and lift and flex and lower. Point and lift and flex and drop. Engage. Point three, flex lower. Point four, flex down. Five, deep breaths. Six, seven, eight, nine, and hold it up. Circle that leg. Four, four, three, two, one. Change. Four, lift. Three, two, one, hold it, flex it, and pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold. And then knees together, shall stretch. I only smile because I feel your pain. Roll that spine all the way up. Relax those shoulders. We are nearly, nearly done. So, we're going to move the roller into the center of the mat and I want you to take your right foot to the front and then you're going to rest your left knee on that roller. Now when you're here, you don't want this foot too close to the roller, you've got to move it forward. So you've got a nice square underneath that front leg. Now we're going to reach arms in front of us, lock the shoulders and we're going to have fun here. So you're going to exhale, push straight up, straighten both of your legs so that your back foot is on the tippy toe. And then inhale, drop. Exhale, lift. Inhale, drop. The roller is not going to stay exactly where you started. It might move a little bit, might go back and forth the whole time. Not a problem. As long as you're not going to rest on and then lift up. We've got another four, three, two, the last one, one. Now we're going to think about it. Tap down. You're going to take the arms back and lift the leg up and then back to lunge. One. Swing it up. Tap. Two. Swing it up. Tap. Three. Keep the stability. Tap. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Takes a lot of concentration. Nine. And last one. You're going to step it into a lunge, but don't let that knee touch the roller. And now we pulse it up and down. 14. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. And release. Oh my word. Bring that left foot forward. Give it a rub. It's going to be on fire. Whew. Okay, we're going to do the other side. We are nearly there, guys. Left foot forward. Relax your shoulders. Reach the arms to the front. We're going to exhale, push straight up. And inhale, come down. Exhale, push up. Come down. Try to find a spot just in front of you. Focus on it. It's going to help you with your balance. Five. Straighten. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
Ooh, now think about it. You're gonna come down, swing the arms back and lift and bring it down. One leg is always gonna be more stable than the other, as you can see. The leg that you're pushing forward on is gonna be slightly bent the whole time for a little bit more support. We're gonna reach up for another five. Think about it. Four takes a lot of concentration for me on this side. Three. Two. Last one. Take it back. Don't let the knee touch the runner and let's pop. Four, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. And release. Oh, well done, guys. We need a stretch. So you're going to shake it out, come to standing. Oh, no word. We're going to take this runner. Just place it to one side. And now it's the opposite leg that we're going to stretch. So you're going to lift it up, take the knee back, pull the heel to bum, squeeze the bum forward and just breathe. Stretch out those thighs, slow down the breathing. You're going to take that leg that's up, take it in front of you onto the opposite knee and come into a beautiful little bum stretch. Now, this might be enough for you, so you can stay here, or take both of your hands down and drop the bum a little bit lower to get into a deeper stretch. Push it all the way back up. Swap it over to the other side. You're going to grab the foot first for a quad stretch. Pull the knee back, squeeze the arm forward, relax the shoulders. Soften your facial expressions, facial muscles. You're going to swing that leg forward, come into a nice little glute stretch. If you want to, take both hands to the floor, bend the knee a little bit more and go deeper. Push it all the way back up. You're going to take the road in front of you now. Stretch out the neck and the shoulders. So palms go onto the top of the roller. Shuffle your bum backwards, shuffle your feet backwards, and just let your ears drop below the biceps. Don't start bending the arms like this. I bet you, I bet you you're doing it. You're going to reach the arms forward so that there's pressure and you're pushing down on the roller. Feels good, it feels strong. You're going to take the right hand and reach for the left ankle. You don't have to touch, you're just reaching. Make it a little bit more difficult by bending that right knee so that you can reach a bit more and look up towards that left armpit. It's going to give you such a beautiful stretch in that left shoulder. Swap it over, straighten both of your legs first, left hand to right ankle. Bend your left knee, reach towards that right ankle and look towards that right armpit. Straighten both of the legs, both hands go back onto the roller, give it one more push. And then release the roller, come up to standing. We're going to reach the arms all the way up, give it a stretch, give it a slight back bend. And then exhale, fold forward to the toes, relax the head, neck and shoulders, shifting your weight slightly forward. You can hug your elbows if you want to. Tell yourself well done for doing this exercise. 
Release the elbows, go deeper. Slightly bend your knees. Take a deep breath in. Pull that belly button to spine as you roll yourself all the way up. Stack the vertebra, that's good. Open up the shoulders. Straighten the legs. Take one deep, powerful breath in. And just roll out. Well done, everybody. I really enjoyed that class. So I hope you enjoyed it too. And I hope it's made you ready for your weekend. And take care of yourself. Thank you so much. Please subscribe, like, and comment if you want anything more, anything less. And please let me know what you thought about this video. Take care.